Well, I'm from Australia, but I've lived in Asia for probably 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was living, before I was living in Thailand, in Phuket, and a sailor. I was sailing business and sailing all around Asia. And it's a very male dominated industry. And also, it was just like, it was very consuming of my life, which was great, but I kind of feel like I burnt out. And then I got this opportunity to come to Bali for one year to study um, the Indonesian language, like this random school scholarship thing, which I was like, yes. And it was just like, it was like, an, it was like a one year holiday. And being in Bali, the magic of Bali inevitably happens. You know, you hear about it and all the stories and it's true. Uh, you kind of, just take in the beauty and the magic that's in this place and it like motivates you to look at yourself healing and um, make life changes. And so I suppose it's like from a lot of things coming over time, um, I, I came to a place to realize that like these women's circles is something that's really powerful and something that's largely missing in uh, in just normal life. I was lucky enough to go to a, a festival here in Bali last year called the Modern Woman Festival. And it was so great. I was like, I was, I just like have trauma from that not being available to me before. Like I've been a woman for 20 years already and I just don't even know this stuff. And we don't even have this kind of thing. Um, available to us and it's it's mad it's literally mad everyone's wandering around in the darkness of their own feminine power confused like stressed out and anxiety like anxious about it when like with that love and support and like a bit of knowledge and wisdom sharing we can really embrace it and make the most out of it so i kind of decided to take this path of um it's called a red tent, which is where traditionally women would gather on the new moon and um, they would menstruate. But it was like, you know, it was a time off from their duties because they're bleeding. Well, before the days of pads and tampons where we could just keep getting on with our lives, we had to actually take time off and we'd be all together. And so in intergenerational is where you would share that wisdom of, of being a woman. The, the younger women would hear from the older women about their problems and what, what to do and how to be. And this is really profound, the magic that, that happens when women come together and share that, that support and that wisdom. And the monthly flow, like we get to have this rebirth every month. So we get to grow into emotional and spiritual maturity if we're willing to like look at ourselves, take on our responsibility for our behaviors and and grow and expand. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, thank you, Liz, for sharing. It's it, it's very interesting that you said you uh, used to be in the sailing industry for mm. a while, and many people associate sailing with the freedom. And but it, then you said like uh, you want to find something uh, more freedom here and <laughs> from sailing. <laughs> so can you share a little bit more about that transformation, and then how you actually helping uh, people uh, right now? I know you just started your own business, but uh, anyway, if you can share even what you're doing right now and how you're supporting your, your community and your clients. Yeah, sure. So it's interesting you say that. That's the romantic idea of sailing is that it's freedom and that the sun is shining and that the dolphins are jumping. And yes, it is like that in some mm -hmm. part. And the other part of it is that it's stressful. You know, you're always taking care of a boat. Like I was working in it, so I've got um, customers a business to run in that and like I don't have any time to do other things what I want to do so I still like sailing but it's like I, I just kind of over overdid it perhaps mm -hmm. um but yeah no I do really appreciate that um that feeling of freedom the being within nature and and so that's that's something that's similar in this red tent because you you 
uh, notice the cycles of like the moon and the seasons and kind of just instead of going every day no matter what like when you tune into the nature it really you don't have to fight against the like nature's energy you go with it which is just easier you know yeah. <laughs> it's just easier so what i'm doing at the moment i've only been going for like two months so mm -hmm. the red tent is a event that's held monthly on the new moon so i've done two events with the next one coming up next week and I've, i get like a bunch of women together we do some circle sharing and then we do a, a bunch of workshops about women's business you know like we've done like um, talks about menstruation we've done feminine archetypes we've done dancing singing um like there's actually so many great things that we can do together and that's super fun and then like furthermore there's like extra activities like um rites of passage through like through your life stages like before you become a woman there's some stuff that you should know right and then when you become a woman when you have your first period that is actually a time to celebrate you're entering into this new phase of life and i think a lot of women can um you know think of their first menstruation as like a, a dreaded Thing that happens and you're like oh my god I'm so like I'm embarrassed and like what is this and I have to do this every month and like it definitely wasn't a celebration um, so to start to celebrate that and then the other life phases like um, uh, like a partnership or the separation of a partnership or a pregnancy and entering into motherhood um, before your menopause and then like after you bleed, like the, the menopausal ages and then preparing for death as well. So there's all these life stages that with like ritual and initiations and support that can be like flowed into and not feared mm -hmm. as well. Um, so that's that's another part of it. And then like I'm having, having lots of ideas here in Bali to uh, also um, integrate the local women with um, the expats here, just to, like we're at different levels and there's different stereotypes around menstruation and femininity. And so to connect and see like what, what different experiences people have. Um, what else? Oh, the other day I did a relationship releasing ritual because there was a bunch of women who just recently broke up with their partners. So just to kind of like, you know, that's a tough time and when we come together and like, help clear it out and cry together and like scream together and break some stuff together. Like we feel supported and we feel a lot better with what we're going through. But I thought like, well, if I really committed to being here and putting in some, putting some roots down, like what magic I could create and I could be here like, you know, legally as well. I could really connect into the community and make a, a beautiful, like, um, Red tent space like this, like this work that I do is community based. So, so when you have like that consistency, and you know, in 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 the place, you really can connect. And I like envision like this, uh, this red tent space with all red fabrics and cushions, and people coming in and out, and lots of workshops being able to be there, and great space for sharing and. Um, you know, so many friends and wonderful things to do. So it's really exciting to think about, um, yeah, that commitment and what can be created out of going for an awesome villa. Like, we'll look at that. This is my oh, house. We've got a huge pool. Like, Amazing. Wow. So you get, you get really good deals on amazing places to live right now. So life is sweet. I don't, like, um, I don't want this Corona holiday to ever end, really. <laughs> and Liz, I know you, you don't have your online business yet, but this is like online community and there are many uh, female entrepreneurs, business owners, artists, models. 
whom I want to connect with you. Uh, is there uh, any uh, plans that you're going to expand your business online? And how about people who want to maybe connect with you? What would be the best way to do so? Yeah, so I definitely have already been asked by some people, like friends who are not here to do, like you can do these um, ceremonies and stuff online. So in the, in the not too distant future, I'm sure I will be running like the online circles. And, um, you know, in the meantime, I have, I'm having like a Facebook group called the Sisterhood of the Red Tent by a Blissful Woman. And this is just a platform that we can, like I put like resources there. I obviously put some like, events are, but like conversation topics. So people can still like engage with each other about these topics that are, you know, not so mainstream and feel like connected in the online community in that way. Wish you all the best. We, are, we will be definitely in touch. And uh, hope to uh, see you in Bali in the near future once when the, the government opened the, the... Yeah, the, right. Everybody's uh, going to be coming to Bali as soon as the yeah. doors open. So I look yeah. forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Thank Ed. you Liz.